prepare for battle. Twelve Red Sox split amongst two tribes. I'm sure it's gonna be insane. Whatever I can do to help the team win. Like, shoo! Competing in physical and mental challenges. This game is constantly evolving. I'm Reese McGuire, catcher. Let's see what you got. Until one tribe stands as champion. I just keep working hard and have fun. You got two ears and one mouth, so shut up and listen. That looks good. It's definitely gonna impact the game. Everybody's itching to get out there. I wanna go out and compete and go right after, guys. In the most anticipated game show of all time, position players will battle against pitchers to win the glowing idol. This is Sock Survivor. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first ever Sox Survivor. My name is Henry Mahegan. I am the Red Sox public address announcer, and I will be your host this afternoon. Thank you. In just a few moments, a tribe of six Red Sox position players will face off against a tribe of six Red Sox pitchers in a series of mental and physical challenges. After each game, the winning tribe will be awarded five points, and in the end, the tribe with the most points will win the coveted goal glowing idol which, will, which you will see in a moment. Are we ready to meet our tribes? Come on in, guys. On the orange tribe. Come on in, guys. Here we go. <laughs> on the orange tribe, we have out of Brooksville, Florida, Christian Arroyo. From Toa Baja, Puerto Rico, Kike Hernandez. Seattle's own Reese McGuire. Connor Wong of Houston, Texas. From Florida, Tristan Casas. And from Wilbraham, Massachusetts, Pete Fatsy. On the Blue Tribe, we have out of Collinsville, Illinois, Tanner Houck. From Arlington, Texas, Chris Martin. Josh Winkowski of Toledo, Ohio. Coming from Snellville, Georgia, it's Garrett Whitlock. There it is. From Roanoke, Virginia, Zach Kelly. And lastly, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dave Bush. Welcome to our tribe members and welcome to the audience to our very first Sox Survivor. Okay, let's see what we're playing for. I now see what we have the building with. Where's the glowing eye? Oh, there it is. Oh. All right. Uh, folks, are you ready to go? Have, have you guys watched Survivor before? Yes. Yeah, we have Survivor fans here. About to find out. Yeah, we're about to find out. All right. Yeah, but we survived um, Is there like someone who we think already might be the, like, the best contestant in this game? Like, do we have odds on favorites here? I think I Yeah? Yeah? I get it. I'm from an island. I get it. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Uh, we're gonna do a quick overview of the rules. Um, so in Sock Survivor, the two tribes will go head to head in five challenges. First tribe to complete the challenge wins five points for their tribe. At the end of all challenges, we'll tally up the points and we'll see who uh, are the survivors. Are we ready for the first challenge? Okay, the first challenge is a shelter build. For your first challenge, the tribes need to build a shelter using all of the materials in front of you, which seem to be over here on the right and left, um, you will have five minutes to build a standing structure. The structure must have a roof, it must stand on its own, and it must be big enough for all the members of your team to fit inside of it. Cassis, I want need you to get small. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot of people here that might have to get small. All right. once, uh, so once on the timer has Steve ended, working to our advantage here. the audience is going to vote by applause for our winner. And the tribe uh, who wins will go first in the second challenge. You get five points per challenge, you'll go first in the second challenge. Survivors, are you ready? Sure. You're ready. We're yeah, good. We got the event. Oh, huh. we got the event. Sorry. On your mark. Get set. Go. Hey, I oh, said we're getting out of the a little early here. All right. All right. We got oh, here we go. Let's all right. Decoration. Oh, okay. Five okay. minutes on the clock. All, the, all the tape. All the tape. We're in there. Cardboard oh, box here to try to build a structure. We have to be in it before right. we build it. Right. We have to get inside of it right now. All right. Not right now. You okay. You don't have to get inside of it now. You don't have to get inside of it now, Pete. All right. He's gone. Probably. All right. Pictures over here are pulling out these giant cardboard boxes. 
Yeah, where's the roof? How are we going to get in? the roof. we got to get in. we got to step. No, no, we don't have to get in. Uh, I could end the box. Could. No, but you we don't have to right now. We don't have to build it. Has anyone over here ever built a tent before? You like pitch you all in. We have some advantage here. So we're going top. Do you have part of it? Multiple boxes Oh, okay. Go with this way. Tessie, feel free to get involved. Yeah. We do like we got tape. Oh, no. We got tape. Oh, let's Greenery here. We got tape, bro. Flag. Oh, hey, this should be like a Audience, got a feel stand. Free to, yeah. got a stand. Feel free to shout out your suggestions. I'm sure that's Are very these appreciated. To be like the ficus we, you put in the corners. So are we making a full box? It's like decorative <laughs> right? plants. Or? Yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. We need got about a uh, little less than uh, oh, four minutes remaining. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is a lot this of. This is some really some like this right is right nice. Here. This is like I don't know all these Yeah, we would. We got a rope packing tick. What do you think? This is nice. No, the wall is much better. Wait, yeah. you don't have to be yeah. standing. Um, the wall is though. home, right? No. The way down, we got to How are we going to have, good. where's the door? That's just helping out over here. We have some tape uh, involved. We need a door. Uh, Three and a half minutes uh, remain. Uh, that a door. Open door. This uh, house doesn't look <laughs> as nice as that house. That house looks, they have leads going on. Oh, do you know what we should do? Hey, lift it up and put it on this. Hey, don't talk. Don't talk. They can hear you. Yeah. Don't say anything. Check one, two. We can set them up. Oh, yeah. Good thing we popped it up. Hey, stop. We got a door. Oh, no. He's like, he's got a way to get in. I'm going to talk a little mess with them. Oh. Is this legal? Good job, Tessie. Good job helping out. There we go. Yeah, we're okay with the tape gun here, that's yeah. good. This is the only group that's figured out a way they're going to to get into their house. That's kind of an important part. I don't know if you can see this, but we have Tristan here uh, using his finger to pry open this cardboard. What? Don't give him our strategy! <laughs> yeah, just on the corner of that. Oh, that's very nice, yep, yep. Oh, that's going to work. Hey, once you lift it, Pete, you get in this box. Four. Two and a half minutes right. remaining to yeah. complete your houses. No. We have a decoration no. crew going on over here. No, no, no. We That's already got a concern. Oh, we got a foundation. We do. We made it door. Top. Fuck it. Top. We need more hider now. Oh, now, remember, you do have to get inside this house. Are we? Are you climbing through the foundation? This is a trap. That's for raccoons. You do need to figure out a way to get inside this house at the end of the game. Two, about two minutes remaining. Wait, should we rip like this? I think when we get inside of about 30 <laughs> seconds, we might need the audience to help count us down. That is a very nice house right there. Rip it, and we can make a door out of it. You do need a, you have to figure out a way to get inside. It's got to close up. I do not. <laughs> Tristan used his finger if you need to. Fun coupon. We are inside of two minutes. This team is just, they're, I mean, they're going to start planting flowers in a second. Yeah, I mean, you're good. These guys are ready to go, yeah. insane. They are ready to go. Is there a flat screen in there? Yeah. So if you look at the corner, there's a man cave off to the right. It's really nice. You get a little rain. Oh, it is, yeah. You should see it in there. It's really nice, yeah. It's actually a lot nicer than the visiting clubhouse at Fenway, as a matter of fact. We need all the leaves. Almost a minute to go here. We've got a minute and 15 remaining. You don't have to go in it yet, don't you? I mean, you are well, we done earlier and we get in. Well, I mean, if you just want to hang out in a really nice house, yeah, well, get in there. About a minute to go. I'm not sure if you has figured out how they're getting in yet. Oh, I think we do have a door. It kind of looks like a barn. A barn aspect to this one, yeah. They're decorating. Tessie seems to be decorating. That's nice. We got plenty of room in this guy. Yeah, we've got a great Coming close. Right? Oh, the boys. We are approaching uh, our end time here. We have about 43 seconds to go. I think we're going to need some fans to help count us off when we get close. I don't know, but I think we just installed AC. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of tape. 30, about 30 seconds remaining. Right. Gotta go. <laughs> we got I don't know. This, this one does not look as structurally sound as that one. Are they all in there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the door is closed? Very well. We have about 10 seconds remaining. Count us down. A lot louder than ours. Oh, wow. Oh, both teams are all the way in their structures here. That is extremely impressive. We know they can both fit inside. That was the key ingredient there. The way this is going to be determined, though, is by your applause. So you're going to have to cheer for the house that you think... T Wally, no favorites here. You can't sway the vote, Wally. 
Is there a, someone from inside the pitcher's uh, structure, to be kind, who might explain the strategy here? So hot in here. Can anyone hear me? We're all in. We're, we're we tall. fit. We fit in here. Can you hear them? It's like this. Honey, did you pay the electric? Is there, is there is someone from inside the position player structure that might explain maybe what they're doing? You guys have been in there for a while. We're just having a five course dinner in here. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, by your applause, we're gonna determine whose structure is better. Uh, why don't we start over here with the pitching team, the, uh, the, this team over here, this barn structure here. Can we hear your applause for the pitchers? Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta be honest. Yeah. Sounds good. moderate. Not that great. Yeah, over here. Does Wally fit in this as well? I don't know. Your head's a little big. Let's. How about for the position players? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. How they get there so like? Well, I think we have our winner. Uh, players, I think it's safe to come out of your houses now. We're going up. We're going up. <laughs> if you can. Let ours fall. Very impressive. Very impressive. Now. If we could just uh, get an interview here quickly, is there, do any of you have like construction experience? Is this like a, a area of strength for anyone on this team? No. Engineers? No. Okay. Well, it's pretty they impressive. Use all the bombs. Thank you. At least, well, there's, there's a still standing. That's impressive That's uh, nonetheless. Okay, so the team that won is going to go first in our second challenge. Our orange tribe, our, our position players here have won. For the second challenge, we are going to play a game called Wilson Splash. In this challenge, each team will take turns tossing a Wilson Volleyball into the opposing tribe's bins. When a Wilson Volleyball is sunk in a bin, that bin is eliminated, and we'll have uh, people helping to pull these bins out of the way. If you sink uh, both balls in a turn, you get the balls back. I know there are a lot of rules there that different people play. You're gonna get the balls back. Once a tribe has eliminated all bins, you will then move to the table that has two puzzles, your team must select one of the puzzles to solve, and you must solve the puzzle upright so that everyone can see it. So again, the team that uh, wins the, uh, that sinks the most volleyballs, that eliminates the other team's buckets, then chooses a puzzle, and you have to do the puzzle upright so that everyone can see it. The team that has successfully solved their puzzle wins the challenge and wins five more points for their team. All right, teams, are you ready? Do we know who's going first for each team? You can rotate in, you can have some, uh, like it's okay if some shooters go more than once. I can. But when you are ready, yeah. go ahead guys. We'll remove all the obstacles here. Are we live? Well, they gotta go first. I think we're live when I say go. Are you ready? You guys ready to go? Take it away, position players. What's one? If you hit this, they come back. That's two. Let's go. Okay, so we remove those buckets and the balls come back. Balls back. Move them out. Balls back. I hope yeah, the pitchers yeah. get it. Oh, they play. Wait, what's going on? Same shooter. No, no, balls same. Back. No, no, same. Uh, no, no. Balls stay on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys can see here. Go ahead, yo, yo. So if you, if you keep hitting, run it back. Run it back. All right. That's the point. Ah. All right, we got our first miss. Not basketball. All right, so pitchers, your first crack at it. Beer pong. Oh, don't, yeah, there we go. That one counts. Oh, good push. Go, Reese. Take it. All those workouts. There you go. Oh, that's a line drive. Ah. I don't know if we. I don't know if we're gonna allow bouncing. That adds a whole other element to this. Yeah. Oh, that, I thought that one was in. Need a Need buckets. Can I get a diamond, please? <laughs> there we go, oh. there we go. Pitchers are down to just three. Hitters still have five to go. Get it, Wing. <laughs> just off the back edge. That one's in. Nice. Boy, Sheriff. Got a close game here, four to three right now. Ooh. Girl. Two misses. Girl. Pitchers have a chance here, big chance for the pitchers. Look at this. Bro. Oh, you better get it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Heck yeah. Ooh. You guys just went with your worst shooter again? <laughs> that one's in. Down to the last two. Down to the last two. Oh. Remember that once a, a team has eliminated the buckets, you then go to the table and choose one of two puzzles. Yeah, I might, I might short it if I throw it. Long dark. Ooh, I missed again. We got to step up. All right. We got to be. We got to go again, Reese. 
Get in. Yeah, seems to be going with the basketball the delivery. Middle. Captain? A little oh. short, a little short. Audience members, help us out. Uh-oh, let help. Oh, there's that. Oh, now you hit it. <laughs> oh, that counts, that counts. Oh. Three to two. Remember, once you have sunk the last bucket, you move to the table to solve a puzzle. Aye. There is a puzzle. There it is. There yes. it is. Oh, wow. Pitchers down to the last bucket. Here go. Do it up. He's on a run here. No. Okay, it's close. Position players, if you are to hit this, you go to the table and figure out your puzzle. Oh. oh. Buckets? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. I'm nervous. Heck yeah. Oh, oh just short. Wink. Oh. Finish it. What? <laughs> One to go. No, it's no One house. To go. It felt good. To the house. No. That's no. only. Oh, 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 yes. Right Bang. Oh. oh. Yeah, that counts. That yeah. does not count. That one really oh, yeah. fell. Oh, yeah. Oh, I ah. thought that was in. Gordon. Ah. Gordon. Ah. Ah. Thank you to the fans helping out down there. Oh. Oh. That one's in. We have a tie game. I don't know. Catch her. Oof. Maybe nice pass. Come on, Reese. Oh, Reese. Got this. That's in. Oh! Don't oh. play on that. Is that regulation? Bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. We're all over it. No. No. Oh. Oh. Wide left. Buckets. Oh. All right, Kelly, let's, one of us get it. Let's go, Wink. Go ahead, Wink, and miss it. Okay. <laughs> a little short. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a little short. Let's go, Wonger. Position players with a real chance here. Finish it. Wide left. Oh, no. Oh, God. There it was. It was dived off the finish. Oh. You don't. You got to beat. Oh. Let's do beat. Let's do beat. Nope. How many times have we hit a rim? That's in. Let's go. Yay! All right. Let's go. Congrats to the position players, but you're only halfway there. All right. We got you will now points. move to the table. You pick a puzzle. The Wait, other team, you guys are going to move and pick two. The players get the first oh. choice. I mean, the position players oh, get the first choice. Hey, how do we know what the puzzle looks like? Uh, this, well, I mean, I think we can figure out what this puzzle looks Wally. like right here. There's Wally. Wally. Here's a much smaller puzzle over here. Oh. This is a Red Sox oh, logo. Box. Position players, you get to choose. Whatever you don't choose, the, the pitchers will do. Yeah. So pitchers, get ready. Right. Well, I guess we're doing this one. You're going with Wally? Yeah, we're going with All Wally. All right, they have begun. Take it away. Whoever finishes their puzzle first I, I, is the winner of game it's two. Of the guys here. This is one. Cheating. Hey, this is all white. PK is questioning broken. the. Uh, look, right here. Look, right here. You gotta be us right here. Yeah. I got a full white one. I got a full white one. Yeah, one eye right here. Bottom right. You have Wally's head being formed. You gotta do it vertically. Try to, you gotta do it vertically. You can't do it horizontally. You gotta build it vertically. Position players. You got Wally's head assembled. You can't see this, but the pitchers over here are assembling their horizontally. You gotta get it vertical to win. This one right here. You gotta get your puzzle vertical in order to win. Let's do it this way and then move it. Position players have an yep, interesting yep, yep, strategy yep. here. Christian Arroyo holding most of Wally's head. I'm definitely Wally's the okay with that. <laughs> that white one goes up top. White's up there. White's up there. Oh, there you go. Yep. We're assembling Wally's hat. We've got some good. white squares to worry about. Wally's lower jaw has been assembled down. here. The Red Sox logo looks there. pretty close, but they there. still need to get theirs upright. Yeah, that one. That one there. So we got another white one top left. What do we do with this? Yeah. I got you. This one? No, no, there's nothing in him. Where's Wally? I think Wally could probably be helpful in this one. We got a problem. It's yeah, like looking in the mirror. We're missing cubes. I think there's like another two. Uh, you gotta, if you, if tur turn them around. There should be, some of them have an uh, image on the front and oh, back. Yeah, so there could that's be other images oh, on the back. That's yeah, there are, sorry, there are images on both sides. Oh. Both sides will work for this type of thing. That changes everything. That's here. That's okay. The, uh, this one over here. Yeah, white top left. Yep, there okay. we go. We got some white cubes. Do you want to place this down? 
This good here. Position team looks like they're getting ready to uh, reveal their puzzle here in a moment. Pitchers are going to have to figure out a way to get their puzzle up right. Drop these. Oh my goodness, we are very close here. We are very close to a reveal. This is starting to be a bit of a runaway. Position players have correctly assembled Wally's head. They've done it upright. They win the points in game two. Uh, we'll take a look at the scoreboard in a moment. Uh, where is Christian Arroyo? I would love to talk a little bit about the responsibility you had there, yeah. holding most of Wally's head together while your right. team sort of built the foundation. Yeah, so the boxes look like they're light. They're like 150 pounds each, but <laughs> workout program's been going good. Did the other players on your team feel the boxes were that heavy? Or? Yeah, no, they all said they oh, like, really? Okay, really all heavy, right. really, really heavy, so. No, I just tried to make it easy so they could just, you know. Yep, that's an interesting then... strategy. Oh, the, and the pitchers got there. Is it just? <laughs> yeah. And for the pitchers, second place. Oh. Yeah. Almost winners. So after two games, the position players have the uh, Orange Tribe, rather, has a 10-point lead. But remember, it is five points per game. There is still plenty of time this. for the pitchers to pull it out. On to our third game, our third challenge. The tribes will start in front of the stage on opposite sides of the stairs. Teams will take, uh, teams will, uh, if you don't mind, make your way down to the stairs. We'll explain it as we go. These stairs are those stairs. stairs. Oh, tribes that, will have no. to work together to no. move around the entire central seating area. God. Is, are, is that following the off? arrows on the floor. So oh, if you look at the stage. floor players, you'll see that, for example, for the blue team, you have a blue line around. For the orange team, you have an orange line around. You will not be walking, however. You will not be walking. You will have to work together to move around following the arrows. You can only use three blow-up rafts that will be given to you in order to make forward progress. This is going to be a little bit like the floor is lava. So you have to be in your craft at all time. All members of your team have to be in their crafts at all times. If any member steps off the raft at any point, your tribe must start again from the beginning. You don't all have to be in the same raft, though, at the same time. People get what's going on here? You have to cross the finish line, and once you arrive back at the stairs, your tribe must solve a giant cube puzzle. The puzzles must be solved upright, and be careful because the puzzles are tricky. Like you noticed already, there is a reverse side image on the back, so make sure all the words in these puzzles that you'll be doing are going in the right direction. The, tree, the, tea, the tribe, rather, that finishes first wins five points for their tribe. Audience, we might need a little help. Um, I'm not going to be able to see all the way around in those back corners. If you see anyone falling out of their craft or getting a foot on the ground, I think we want to know about it. And feel free to yell it out and we'll send them back to the beginning. Survivors, are you ready? Yep, so there's probably going to be sort of like a passing forward, passing backward kind of situation going on. Kike is starting in the little donut there. We got this side ready to go. On your marks. Get set. Go. Totally different strategies from both teams. Remember, you do not all need to be in the same boat at the same time. You can pass it back. I think we are running into a danger of possibly popping our crafts. If that happens, I say we just keep playing. So whoever's last. The position players, I think, have developed a strategy here. They kind of look like a slow-moving caterpillar. And once longer gets on. But it looks like it's going to work. So they have the smallest craft in the back. Pass that one up. Yeah, baby. The pitchers, have, looks like they've now adopted a similar strategy, although when the donut is in the front, that does create a challenge, doesn't it? Safety first. Oh, and I think that one counts. I think that one counts. I think the pitchers are back to the beginning here. No? Okay, no, I'm, I'm getting word from the judges that they are not back to the beginning. There is some serious teamwork going on over here. Yeah, safety first, no injuries, safety first. So we're going. Fans, feel free to provide any tips if you have them. It's that middle one, it's the donut that really creates the issue here. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so I'm going to come on in. 
All right. Hard to tell who's in the lead here. I think the position players might have a slight edge. All right. So here, Cass, put your left foot here. There. Teamwork makes the dream work. I got you. I got you. I got you. Sorry, your shoe. It's like, it's like where Aaron did. Yeah. Come on. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Reese. Yeah, we'll get more distance if we move back. We can wait, wait, you might go a little bit more. A lot of static going yeah, we can, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like further. Get a mic down. Yeah. Yeah. So it is possible that this is a little yeah, unfair, but it is possible that midway through the game we may change the rules. We might move the goalpost. <laughs> I think we're gonna move the goalpost. I no, think like the I new mean, finish line is just oh, at the end of the audience one. right here. Yeah. So this back row is now our finish line, and if we're judging by this back row only, it looks like the pitchers have made some pretty significant progress. They are suddenly about three or four rows ahead. Now, I'm screwed up. What do we have? Do we need a ruling from the judges over here? Never let go. They're holding on to each other. This is like Titanic over here on the left. Y'all can come forward. Team bonding. The position players are passing their votes up over the tops of their heads. That's an interesting strategy. You good? I got you. But the pitchers are now about three rows yeah, from the go. finish line. Reese, are you going? It looks like the position players Reese, have a little going. more than that to go. You might need to start jumping. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, but it's getting pretty close. We might need a ruling here if it comes down to a photo finish. Position players look like right. they're about four yeah, rows away. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Pitchers are now about two rows away. Yeah. Uh, Some popping going on over oh, here from Zach Kelly. All right, Bush, you're going to have to hold me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Nice. Are we going all I think the, the pitchers have a real chance to get on the board here. Once you reach the new finish line, you're going to run one? back up to the stage and try to complete your puzzle. So the challenge does not end all right, I'm good, Bushy. with the uh, completion of the right, boat, uh, shuffle. But the position, uh, sorry, the pitchers are now about half a row away from the finish line. This blue line is now the finish line right here. Everybody For the position the players, it will be the orange line. And I think we need all six of your members to get across the finish line. We have one member across. Go, Two. We have three. Keep, you can keep going. You can go all the way up to the stage. Let's go. Let's go. Send it. Five. Send it. We have six. Now get up to the stage and complete your puzzle. Get up to the stage and complete your puzzle. You have reached the finish line. You now have to complete the puzzle. Man, you cheated. You're walking on lava. Yeah, run, run, run. Run, position players. Run. Oh, we're running. No, it's not over yet. Oh, we got. Oh, sorry, not this one. Not this one. Not this puzzle. Not this puzzle. This puzzle right here. The boxes. The boxes. The boxes. The boxes. Not the boards. Not the boards. Not the boards. The boxes. The boxes. There we go. MGM. Want to face up? These have the winter weekend logos on them. Just keep in mind there is sort of an upside down image on the back. So in other words, both sides of these boxes could be used to complete this puzzle. Audience, feel free to help out. They do have to be vertical. I've got both. Orange means at the top. Bottom. I've got socks and I've got. That's not good. That Keep in mind that they do need to be vertical. I got lion. What is the weight of these boxes? Are these also 150 pounds each? I don't know what side we're doing. This is the Winter Weekend logo. It is the same logo that's up there on the screen. This is the W. W. Turf. I got a W over here. This. The snowflake is tricky. These two go together. The snowflake with the baseball is a little tricky. We've spelt most of the word winter over here. It looks like maybe these guys are going horizontal first, but remember it does need to be vertical to win. I wonder if the leaf is going to be hat there is maybe getting in the way. We're getting close. I'd say we probably have about a third yeah. of the Winter Weekend logo assembled right. over here. Let's go see Let's Bottom left. Yeah, yeah. Bottom left right here. Um, yeah. I got that looks head. pretty good. Remember that words on the bat were sort of, of upside down that. depending yeah. on how you're doing it. Like, for example, right there. Yeah, that one right here. Yeah, the one down there. One side, this way. I've got the MGM. Here. That's supposed to be there, apparently. It looks like it should match. Yeah, it's We need a border. Yeah. This is the very top. We're getting close, audience. Help them out. Top. We need one They have the little banner on the bottom. This is the top right here. Hey, the top is right here. We're looking good. I think we're so far close to a 
Yeah, you kind of got that. The top of that looks a little pinched to me. I think you're missing a block somewhere. Yeah, we are. We are. Hey, right here, right here. Right here. These guys are very close. Here we go. Perfect. Better. 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 This. Yep. Reference the board if you want. Make sure to reference the board. Oh, we're building full rows at a time. I like this strategy. Yep, that's a. Oh wow, that's might that might come in handy. Although I don't know about that R on the end there. That looks. That doesn't, I don't know if that's correct right there. I don't know where the rest are. <laughs> yeah, tell them what they're doing wrong. Yeah, let them know. Have another logo. Corner right here. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. The position players team, Team Orange no, here, looks that's like they are ready to close yeah, yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. out. No, red goes over the W. Yep. That's right. Got to get the snowflake in the middle. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Corner. They are getting oh, very this close. Goes top right. Pitchers, top right you here. might be in trouble one, here. That one's up. Middle. There. That goes middle. Oh, that right there. Here. This is there. One's probably. Yeah, Boom. looking a Boom. little jumbled there. And we have ourselves a winner. Maybe we, what do you think? Is this correct? Should we review their work here? It looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I think we have our, <laughs> have you had enough of the cubes? <laughs> I think we have ourselves a winner. I lost a track of score. What's the score? <laughs> we'll see the score in a moment. I think it's 15 to nothing. Okay. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's impressive? Yeah, you have it. How many games are we playing? You're playing five games. So we won. Well, uh, we can. Uh, the last game is a real challenge. There's three parts to the final game, so we'll see. But one game is five points. <laughs> Technically, we can we can let we can be good teammates and let him win the next. I'm two. glad that I'm not an won. umpire. Uh, so after three games, we have a 15 to nothing lead. I think this game right here, game yeah, four, might be our yeah, most no. challenging. So here's how the fourth game is going yeah, to work. They usually do. Stand tribe members will par uh, participate in a stacking challenge. Each tribe member will take turns participating in this challenge. The first participating team member with one hand is going to uh, uh, steady a balancing board while simultaneously balancing blocks. So basically, you're going to have this board on this ball. Your hand is going to be right here. It's labeled hand. And you're going to be trying to stack these Jenga blocks or these um, blue taped regular rectangular blocks on the end of this board. The thing that is going to make this tricky, you have to do four blocks. Um, and you, there's a couple rules here. You can't do them the tall way. So you can't take a block and stack it this way. But this way or this way is OK. Does that make sense? You're going to do four. And here is sort of the hardest part. After you've done your four, you need to pass the board off to a teammate. So the transfer is going to be where I think the biggest challenge is, because you're going to have to hold that board steady. And I think it's going to get more difficult the more blocks that are stacked. Your goal in the stacking is to get your uh, pile of blocks to meet the bottom part of this flag. So you're going to have to basically get your blocks from here to here. Does that make sense? Yep. I haven't been paying attention. I'm just <laughs> looking at Witt's face. If you haven't been paying attention, good Wait, luck in this angry. one. <laughs> you like that? If the blocks fall, you have to start over. And you have to use, you will need to That's use good. all of your blocks to complete this challenge. So each tribe needs to build their stack wisely because you have only just enough to make it to the flag. There are enough blocks there, but it gets a little tricky. You do, I promise you do have enough to get it to the uh, bottom of the flag. Um, you may only build blocks in the sectioned off part of the square at the end of the board, and you must keep your hands behind the tape that's on the uh, boards that are marked hand. Um, the first team to complete the stack wins five points for their tribe, and I do just want to say you cannot catapult your blocks. So like you can't just like blast your stack up and get up to the bottom of the flag there. Green team, or blue team rather, do we know who is going to start for you? You know who's going to be the first stacker? I'll start with go ahead. You're ready? Yeah. Orange team, do we have a uh, first stacker here? Yeah. Yeah, four blocks. All right, get into position. I'm going to balance it. I'm going to do this. Yep. I'm put those On your marks. Nope. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm, this whoa, is kind of true. We win. You're going to want to give yourself a little space here. What? On your marks, Cheating. get set, go. I'm going to back it off longer so you can balance them on there. Oh, I got to put yeah. it on myself. Yeah, you're going to have to. Hey, put you're the blocks. solo dolo. Yeah, put, put them on top. Oh, leverage like dolo. Yeah. Spread them out, though. Spread them out. Oh. 
Once he's done his four, you got to swap on the next player. Now you have to pass it off. Yeah, you got to pass it off. Okay, so you just got to hold it there. Yeah, okay, here. Got it. Make the transfer without dropping it, and then reset him out a little bit. And start stacking blocks. Hey, but, but, uh, saw is dangerous. We got to use the ball on the block. Nervous there, yeah. We can't use the blocks as a. We got to get rid of We have to hit the flag. So far, we're just stacking them. There you go. Yeah, there we go. A little architecture over here. It looks like Black Sash has an idea of what to do. Once you get your four, all right, it is time for your transfer. Reese is nearing the transfer here. Yep, they're going flat for It's interesting. They have a real strategy here. Dave Bush, you're a coach. You want to give us a little uh, strategy here? It's pretty good. We're trying to make it stable. Uh huh. Get a little closer. Get our base built up. Yeah, just hold it in the middle. And then are you flipping it after that? Yeah, that was cool. Let's see how close that middle row. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, you gotta put you're it ready for a transfer. You go now. Yeah. All right. Wilbraham's own here, trying to stack these blocks. I got it. There we go. We're ready for a transfer on this side. I am very impressed. Oh wow, showing off. Wow, a little wave to the crowd. Wow. Not Kristen's easy. turn, that here. looks a little wobbly. <laughs> Looking good over here. I think if I can tell, it looks like the position players might be a little bit higher than the uh, pitchers, but it's very close. Hey, we gotta go one We're ready for a transfer. Here's where it starts to get really difficult. Here's where it starts to get real difficult. Don't want to wobble that thing. Boys, this goes well. This is going to be part of our hitters meeting every day. Wow, this right here. Look at this. This is like pulling the... Uh, the uh, what am I Dramatic music. Tablecloth, thank you. It's like pulling the tablecloth here. All right, I'll yeah, the reach for the block. Oh, it's Alan wobbling. The pitcher's wobbling Wait, here. Wait, can you, can you reach him? Yeah, you can just sit there. Oh, no! I think that's Take your shooting. time, Tanner. I think we, can, I think we <laughs> might have to chop this building off right about here. Oh, no. Turn it over. We'll no rush. I'll tell you what, if you can Turn make the transfer, over, keep building at this height. Oh, yeah. But you got to make the, I think you got to make the transfer at this point. I think that's the only way to make it fair. Pitchers are getting pretty close here. They have four blocks to go, but wait a minute. I don't know if they're going to reach that flag with those four blocks alone. They might have to redesign their whole thing. Oh, no, no. You might have to do a little. One and one. One and one. Yeah. We'll race them there. One and one. Go on the other one. It's not reaching. Other way. Yeah. Yeah. We have, now we have moved the goal post okay. once already today. Short. I think yeah, maybe if you just get all four bricks on there, I think you're going to win. Keep going. But you do four, though. Position players are adopting a new strategy here. I think if the pitchers get this block up there, we're going to declare a winner. Oh, I think we have our winners there. Oh, we definitely have our winners. The pitchers are on the board. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Ow, 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 ow. No, no, no. We moved the goalposts. That was taking, like, we didn't want to take everybody's day up here. Shirt. Yeah, make fun of the host <laughs> shirt. There we go. That's fine. Uh, position, I'm sorry, pitchers, you are on the board after uh, our first several games here. We'll see where the score is in a moment. The pitchers seem to have a real strategy here. Was there a structural engineer in this group over here? Just getting them all one after the other. At one point, I saw you guys turning them. That was very impressive. Oh, so sorry. pitchers, congratulations. Blue Tribe, you are on the board. It is 15 to 5 as we move into our uh, final challenge. Um, so here we are, our final challenge. For this challenge, each tribe will have to get through a series of three games. Your tribe must finish the entire first game before moving on to the next. Whichever tribe finishes all three games first wins five points for their tribe. Although maybe we should just make this one wor worth all the marbles. Winner, winner <laughs> take all. Why? <laughs> Kike is very upset with me. <laughs> I think we're gonna play that this last game uh, determines the winner. Whichever tribe finishes all three games first wins five points for their tribe. Here's the overview of the three games we're going to be playing. The first game is a marble relay. Each tribe will need to move five marbles to the opposite side of the stage one by one. Team members will partner up so there'll be two people going at a time 
and use a PVC pipe to transfer the marbles to the opposite end of the stage. Each tribe member can only use one hand to hold the PVC pipe to balance the marble. The PVC, the PVC pipe must stay below shoulder level, so I think you might be tempted to kind of like see where the ball is rolling around in there. You can't do that, it's got to be below shoulder level, and you cannot plug the ends of the pipe. You got to keep the ends of the pipe open. If a marble drops before you drop it into the opposite red bin, you must go back to the starting line, and once all the marbles are over to the other side, you can move on to game two. Speaking of game two, game two is a hula relay. We have two standard sized hula hoops in the front of the stage. Um, once you have completed the marble relay, your team will move into the hula hoop relay. Um, you, will hold, you will form a circle holding hands, and the tribe must find a way to move the hula hoop around the circle three times without letting go of their hands. If you break hands, you have to start over. And once you have completed three circles of the hula hoop, you can move into the final uh, of the three games. The third game is, an, is called an island flip. The object of the game is to see which tribe can flip their island shower curtain over first. However, you must find the island shower curtain first. Hidden within your winter weekend puzzles is your shower curtain. So in one of those boxes, there is a shower curtain. You're basically gonna have to either rip them open or like judge by weight. I'd be surprised if anyone remembered one box being heavier than the others, but there is a shower curtain somewhere in your puzzle. You have to pull it out and then complete the, uh, the shower curtain, the island flip. Once you find your shower curtain, all tribe members must stand on the curtain with the side labeled X and then try to flip it over without stepping off the curtain. So when you're flipping this curtain, you're all standing on the curtain. It's sort of like another floor is lava situation. If a player steps off the island, they have to start again. The first team to complete all three wins the points, and I think at this point, maybe just plain old wins the game. Um, if you need reminders of any of the rules throughout the games, please do not hesitate to ask. Do we know who is going to begin the marble relay for each team? Yeah. You have to, remember, it's two people for each team. Can't plug the ends. You gotta get the marbles across. Orange team, are you ready to go? You gotta tell who we're doing. No, no, I know what we're doing, but. Ready, orange team? Wait, wait, wait. Are we you gotta, passing? You gotta alternate the people, right? Yeah. No, you, you only have to get the marbles to there. Right? one yep. person? You, uh, you have to get all five of your marbles to this so bucket. But so one like once you get the marble, yes. Okay, okay. Once you get the marble over here, you're basically gonna run the PVC pipe back to the next two contestants. Okay. So we have two of us have to hold it. Two of you have to hold it at the same time. Right, you can't so you hold it at the same time. Right. Pick it up and then put the marble. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh. I. I can see the marble. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good strategy here. I don't think you can. Oh, that marble's out. I don't think you can bump into each other on the way over. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, the marble oh. fell out. You gotta start over. Maybe we could do it like in track. Maybe you want to be on this side and they can be on that side. Yeah. I can hear it. I don't think the audience can hear the marble rolling around in there. Do we bend down to look into it? No. Alright, I'm right at the end. I can see. Uh, you get to go up. Yeah, we're just gonna like lock it. Nice. Can we only use one hand? Get, get, get it, Eddie. Get down there. Yes, you can only use one hand. Oh, no. oh no. contestant. Did that just. Oh, no way. Oh, no. no way. It came out. It fired. See you, see you. Weird. All right, try running really fast. You want to go? Here we go. Oh, my goodness. We got this. Is <laughs> <laughs> That's, I think it's the best way to do it. I like that. I like that. I like Ready? It. Pitchers here are taking the oh, oh, I, I think we terrible. have one. The pitcher's got one. All right, we're rotating marble. in. Listen before you right. can hear it. Yeah, someone was steady your hands. Don't almost has to go twice. The, the, the advice here is to right, listen ready? to the marble rolling around in there. Oh. That marble dropped. It's going well. I think the score is one on, marble to no marbles here. Keep it right here by our. Is it time to make the, you <laughs> lost your marbles? <laughs> it's literally, you can't feel it. Hey, step one. at the same time, step at the same time. Inside foot, outside foot. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, someone else do this. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. There's someone in the audience got like left foot, right foot. I don't know if that's helpful or not. Somebody dent the marbles. There we go, there we go. Oh, see ya. 
Ah. We'll go one more. Did they fire their guys already? We'll go one more. I, yeah, I think they, they, they swapped out their team well played, when they well played. were getting it. We got one marble in. Oh, sorry, two marbles in. Thank you. Oh, oh so you can look at it. There, this, oh, these guys are going low. <laughs> right it's here. right there. We can look inside of it. And then the other one will be all right. Pitcher, these guys are uh, they're marching, basically, right here. That's pretty good. One more. One more. Oh, and it's still dropped. Ready? We can look inside of it. Good balance. Don't hold it up just look at it. And then you know, <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's right. I think we're going to play from this point forward. If you drop it, you just go. pick it up and Get keep one. going from got where you're at. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Get it? Yeah, keep yeah, going. From now on, when you drop it, just keep going where you're at. <laughs> forward progress. Well, they got two, right? Two to yeah, one? Hey, you guys are going to kick all of our marbles out. Hey, keep an eye on it. We have no more. We win. There, right there. You have uh, there's one in there, though, right? Oh, here. Oh, wow. It feels like it's going well. Got you right here. Drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, no two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No two Take one of these back. You guys lost one. I got marbles. Right. Here. Right here. I'm boys. What happened? I got one here. Like this? There was uh, there was some gamesmanship here. A couple of marbles was That's out. Over. Oh. I think I'm the problem here. You guys have. You're now at four. You're now at three. We got. We have. We have five. We're gonna try to get to five. Right, right, we're going with way. forward progress here. Right, Drops to right. from that spot. Out of ball. Pitchers are now at four. You need one more to get to five. That was good. That was there. We're in. Let's go. All right. Out of baby. Guys have a marble. All right. Pitchers are going for the win in the first game here. Yeah, we all gotta get. Circle and then like, oh, let's go ahead. Hey, why don't we? Yep. So after up? this, right, the team with hey, the, uh, the team that gets their fifth marble in there goes straight to the hula. Hoop no, don't challenge. worry. I did not see that. I didn't see it hit the ground. Oh, all right, pitchers, you can start your hula hoop oh, challenge. Okay. Come over here, circle up. More marbles. Position players, you need to keep going. Come on, Kelly. So the goal here is to circle up both hands, pass that hula hoop around three times. It would be helpful if the audience helped us count this off. Wait. So what? What? I got you. No, no, no. Hey, I got the position it. players hey, are down to cool. their last marble. This is going to be uh, close. Yep, ready to rock and roll. Oh, that was there. Come on, Kelly. There we go. Come position Kelly. players got it. Oh. There we go. Now move right, on to the hula hoop. All right, hands together. Let's right. go. I don't know what yep, so I think the pitchers are approaching their first uh, circle of hula hoops. Go high first. we got to do it three times. Hold on, hold on. I'll get this over. Wait, so you have to keep these held the whole time. All right, so go here. I don't know where you went. Oh, which way are we going to me? Just keep going to you. Keep going to you. We've got to sling it up. That's hot. Sling it up. Good yeah. hip flexibility. Together. Uh, together. There it is. All right, position players are getting their hula like, hoop yeah, going. Go. Pitchers are approaching their second the loop. Yes. Oh. There you go, Cass. There you go. There you go. See that there you go. Go. All right. Get it in there. Nice. How many times? One for them. We'll go to All right, I think the position players just completed their first loop. The, plant. the pitchers are starting their third. Remember, pitchers, once you complete this loop, you got to start ripping these boxes open to find the, the uh, shower curtain. Yeah, there it you is. Gotta do it three times. Let's give it a push. All right, Pitchers right, are right, about to do it. There we go. Break those things up. <laughs> oh They're murdering the boxes over there. And I think the position players have one more loop to make, right? This is like the most horrifying Christmas morning of all time right here. Good to see you. Good. got to make sure the boxes actually. That's yeah, right. That's right. Position oh players, start busting open those boxes. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Find your shower curtain. Come out Once you found it, spread it out. Put the X. The X has to be on the top. X. Put the X on top. I think you want the X on the other side. There you go. Start on the X side. Yep. Lag. Right. And you gotta flip this thing over. Standing on it. Got it. We got it. Got it. Got it. Start going. This might. Yeah, we might have to get closer. Everybody, get the X on top. Get it off. Off. You gotta flip it without falling off. And then when the time go on to the new side. I think the move is maybe to get a corner to go off a side here. Right. Corner. One corner. There you go. Flip the whole. Good. Good. Yep. Keep going. Kelly. Each other if you need to. Ooh, look at this. These guys are getting pretty close here. Now we all have to stay on it. <laughs> we gotta get on this. We gotta get on this. Right, now, how are we gonna get it out? Pitchers, right? I bet you didn't think of that. Slide it. Slide it with your feet. Slide it with your feet. Don't hurt yourself. Uh, <laughs> These guys are moving, sort of shimmying the shower curtain with their feet, getting it out on the other side. I think we have ourselves a winner right here. I think the pitchers. Go, Chris. I think we have ourselves a winner. Let's go. Start it off strong. Come back. All right, now I would understand if the position Quite players Garrett. were a little upset about this because there was a bit That's of, uh, we did change the rules mid midway through, but I think we have our winner here. It's after our series of three games here, congratulations to our pitchers.
Is there anyone Sorry. on the pitching team who Sorry. might describe the strategy here with the shower curtain? I saw there was some shimmying going on. Well, we just had to get in one corner and then pull the other side underneath and then work our way. And at any point, across. did you look over and see the piggyback situation that was going on over there? Would anyone well, on the pitching team like to comment on that? We have a lot more height on this side. It's a little harder for us to do that. Um, so. Well, our method works. Compact, compact right, over here. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? We're compact okay. over here. <laughs> so at the end of our game, with a miraculous comeback, our blue tribe is the winner. You have won the glowing idol. Where is your prize? Right here in the center of the stage. Would anyone like, like to they like we touching the stand up wing. here? <laughs> there we go. Make sure you Let's hold go. it aloft. <laughs> Tackle wing. Congratulations to the blue tribe. Go, baby. Congratulations to the pitchers. Congratulations as well to the position players. Thank you all for coming out. This was a wonderful day. Get home safe. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let's go and go into someone's locker. We're, we're presenting that proudly.